Hey, what's up? JD here. Um, sitting in the gym parking lot. Getting ready to work out. Let my free workout kick in. Got my uh, game day for Man Sports. Dorks flavor. Taste like nerds candy. Stacked with stem free pump inducer pump powder. Also dorks flavor. Mix those together. Get a nasty little pump pump for mass. Anyway, while I'm waiting today, uh, I want to share with you, a few months ago, I got the opportunity to try out for the WWE. Um, how I got that opportunity, I did a TV show called America's Got Talent on NBC, made it to the third round of the live show on NBC, which is pretty cool, um, doing crazy stunts. I ended up hurting my back really bad after the show, pinched a nerve, my sciatic nerve, slipped a disc, which pinched my sciatic nerve, and my back caused my leg to go totally numb, chronic pain, five months, couldn't walk, hey, hey, what do you say, say, it sucked. Either way, uh, a few months after I did the show, WWE asked me to try out, someone on, uh, saw me from the WWE on TV, and they thought I could uh, maybe do a good job in the wrestling business which was pretty cool. I had to turn it down because I couldn't walk. Uh, I was honest with them, told them what was up. They appreciated that honesty and they're like, hey, whenever you're ready, uh, <clears throat> let us know and we'll give you a tryout. So today I just want to share with you my tryout experience and um, this video is going to be good because it's going to maybe help people who are going to try out for the WWE or have that opportunity or are just curious what a WWE um, tryout consists of. I'm just kind of going to go over my personal experience, what I liked, what I didn't like, things like that. Well, they gave me two options when the WWE tryout was coming. It took me over a year to get uh, over my back injury and uh, back where I could move, be athletic, things like that. I called them uh, a year later after they contacted me. One whole year, I turned down five tryouts in the meantime. Then I finally said, hey, this year, 2016, February, how you doing? I'm ready to rock whenever you guys have a tryout. The um, talent director said, man, we got tryouts in March. One at the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic, Columbus, Ohio. One at the developmental training center in Florida. Which one do you want? Your choice. I said, well, Arnold Classic, because there's going to be people there. It's going to be more adrenaline, more excitement. I'm going to get to show my personality more, my charisma, things like that. Maybe it'll be an opportunity to, for me to perform, if you will. Well, that ended up being a bad idea now because I went to the Arnold, met some cool people. There was wrestlers wrestling in the morning and the afternoon, and here we are. The trial was just really ended up being like a little intermission show um, for an hour in between the wrestling. We didn't get to know the coaches very well, Matt Bloom, William Regal. We didn't really get to know them. They didn't get to know us. They didn't get to hear our personalities because they didn't let us talk on the microphone because there was too big of a risk of what we might say in front of these people. Um... Uh, and it was just like a bunch of drills. I mean, so no personality, no charisma was able to be shown. It was a, just a tryout based on drills and footwork and things like that. I went into this tryout not having any um, experience, and they knew that. Uh, I was the biggest guy there by 60 pounds. I mean, went in about 300, 305. Looked pretty good for 305, if I do say so myself, but I am biased. And um, had pretty good footwork. I worked my butt off. I got a lot of uh, compliments from the wrestlers saying, hey, you're, for your size, you can really move. You work your butt off. Yada, yada. It was cool. The tryout consisted of went out. <clears throat> they called us down with a big ramp, the Titan Tron, everything. We came out, made a circle outside the ring, lined up. We started off doing uh, body squats and push ups on Matt Bloom, Coach Matt Bloom's count. Uh, after that, we got in the ring. Always wipe your feet before you get in the ring. We have to get out of the ring and wipe them and get back in. It's a sign of respect. Um, so we got inside. You made two lines, a line here, a line here in each ring post. And we started doing roll drills, crisscross roll drills. So if you're going to do a tryout, make sure you have your rolling down. Um, forward roll straight over your head. Right shoulder rolls. 
left shoulder rolls, and you crisscross in the ring doing these drills, two rolls at a time, one, two, this guy's coming, one, two, this guy's coming, one, two. So you keep doing that, and then you go into backward roll drills, same thing, one, two, one, two. Um, and then you do rolls where you do the same drill where you roll, jump a full 180 degree circle, roll again to the next thing. The next guy comes, crisscross, same thing. Um, then we did hands over the head, uh, shuffling drills around. They call you in, you do post to post around the squared circle, um, hugging the circle tight, not cutting corners as fast as you can. On whistle blows, you change direction. Um, after that, we did what they call grape squishers, where you, they, you divide you up into groups, you get in a corner, they blow the whistle, you start doing high knees in the corner with your hand on the top rope like this. Um, and on the whistle count, you hit the mat, boom, as hard as you can, bounce back up, grab the top rope, high knees, whistle blow, boom, boom, boom. They kill you doing that. That was pretty, that was pretty tough. Um, and then you do drills, you know, you work on how to get up from your back, you work on how to take bumps, you, um, work on hitting the ropes things like that you hit the rope be a group of four you're all facing each other fighting stance whistle blows you hit the rope to your right boom get out in the middle one then uh you go to your right again on whistle blow boom cover the ring boom two then on every whistle blow uh you go to your right hit the rope come back to the middle and you all four have to do that in sync um it's a, just a lot of drills. I mean, basic stuff, nothing crazy. My job is going there, work my butt off. I did that. I was proud of my performance. Um, there's a lot of great athletes there. I got to meet a lot of cool NXT people who are now in uh, the WWE. And on SmackDown, <sighs> Apollo Crews, Finn Balor, the... Um, oh, the VOD Villains tag teams. It was cool. Uh, I didn't make it. No one made it, actually. Uh, I just felt like it wasn't a good tryout. And uh, because if I felt like my best chance to make it was through my personality, since I didn't really have any skill going in to begin with. Um, so, my advice to anybody if you're getting a WWE tryout is if you get an option to pick between one or the other, go to the developmental training center. The tryout's longer. There's not going to be any wrestling going on. The coaches are actually going to focus on you instead of the wrestling. And here, they kind of focus more on the wrestling. Um, you're going to get to show your. You're going to get to talk on the mic at the developmental training center. Show your personality. Maybe do some promos, which you didn't get to do there. And I feel like that's half of the entertainment part of the WWE. I mean. Athletic ability is big time. I mean, they're great athletes. I'm not downing the WWE at all. I mean, this is just my personal experience. And for me, for my experience, I would have chosen to go to the developmental training center to do it and not the Arnold Classic because I felt like it was just a short, very quick tryout. And, um, yeah, I just didn't really feel like uh, – I get to utilize all my skills and show them. So if you're going to do a try it, you want all your, you want them to consider all your skills. That's me personally. So, because maybe you're not the best athlete, but you can, you can smoke it on the mic and then you can, might be able to make it on personality. They might think, Hey, we can work on his athletic ability and his in ring skills. But man, as far as personality, charisma, he's got it. That would be, that was my hoping. But, I do entertain every day. Guinness World Record Strongman, so I thought that was going to be my strong point. But that's it. If you're going to do a tryout, I recommend you know learning how to bump, learn how to roll, front roll, uh, right shoulder roll, left shoulder roll, backwards roll of the head, things like that. Just basic stuff. Have your cardio, in ring cardio up, and uh, just really go in there and work hard. Um, choose the developmental training center, not the Arnold Classic. Way better tryout, in my opinion. Um, that's what, uh, that's, uh, what this video is about. Hope that maybe helps somebody out. But that was my experience. It was cool. It was hard. It was awesome. It was, uh, it was invitation only. So really I won just by getting to be able to be invited to the tryout. I was one of eight men invited from around the world to do the tryout. So I'm very, very pleased. And to be honest, I don't even know if my body could hold up in the WWE. I've done so much damage to it. Being on America's Got Talent and running through ice walls in my career um, as the Iceman. Look at my videos, JD, the Iceman. 
just done TV shows around the world through running through walls of ice on Guinness World Record shows and things like that. If you haven't seen that, it's pretty awesome. But hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it was entertaining. Hopefully it was, uh, yeah, it was cool. I just want to share with you my experience about the WWE and I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to try out but please share this video like it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, if you're looking for a good pre-workout or protein or anything like that visit mansports.com and uh, use the code Iceman for 20% off all supplements at mansports.com candy flavored products and all the best flavored products on the market and they are effective as well 20% off using Iceman at checkout once again everybody loves to save money my name is JD Anderson thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time peace